Hello everyone, this is Grayshaw, and today I'm bringing you another campaign in Axis and Allies. I'm going to be searching for a game, we'll see how this one goes. Um, for those who don't know, I'm trying to get the rank up in terms of getting the Platinum in Axis and Allies, and right now I am 329, thanks to a recent victory and uh, unfortunately a uh, minor defeat that I had. Uh, not because I lost, I just went on vacation, so I couldn't play the game. But here's hoping that a ranked game uh, can shoot me up and I can do much, much better in this uh, next game. So we'll see, we'll see how things go. Here's hoping we get a good player and a great match. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So today we have uh, Dark Horseman as our competitor. So let's see how things go. All right. So if you're new to this game uh, or if you missed my last game, uh, no worries. Or I've never played a game before. You know, something along those lines. Uh, then you pretty much go infantry and artillery to start with with Russia. I used to do funny enough uh, four infantry and one um, plane and uh, that way you could have additional air support but I realized very quickly that's maybe not the best way to go. It actually kind of worked um, uh, quite a bit. Oh, hold on I made a mistake. See you get you get in that groove and you're like ah yes I know what I'm doing. No I don't. No I do not. Now I have now I have a good idea what I'm doing. Okay, tanks down here, plane here, and plane here. See that this is basically your starting build. Not too much different there. How we're gonna be doing things. Uh, you attack here, send a sub over to protect there. But let's get to the battle. Like this is this is the big this is the big stuff. Now, if you have a great start, your game is solid as Russia. If you suck, uh, your game is uh, gonna be absolutely hell as Russia. <laughs> So, I would say that was a fairly good roll. Uh, as someone who's had literally roll like a five plus times occasionally, killing everyone in a single blow, pretty good. Two infantry, not bad, honestly, not too shabby at all. So, that's definitely a very positive start for the battle at hand. Next up, we have the next battle, which is in Ukraine. So we'll see how that goes. All right, Ukraine, we got ourselves one. Ooh, two. That's not good. Uh, I know there's a chance of that. Okay. Um, sure. Uh -uh. Four. Technically, with the bomber, we're still ahead, because that's 12, and we got one that's 15. That's 2, 6, 9, 13. So we're technically ahead. I start losing tanks now, but I could do a lot of damage. Do I want to risk it? Alright. We, we would need a lot of hits, but it's also good to make sure that they can't... The bomber's the big thing, right? Sacrificing tanks needlessly is not good. We would have to reinforce mid. Because if I... Oh, okay. This is this is like a, a, not a good scenario, but also a good scenario. Because if I return to the map, right? If I let this guy stand, he has then five infantry, uh, one piece of artillery, and then he can deploy one, two, three, four tanks and aircraft here. That's a real tough fight. That's a real tough fight for West Russia. Um, yeah. So if it comes down to what do we do? Uh, the, the good news is he can't attack here. There's no way an attack here would be good because of three tanks. Um, but he can send aircraft and you have at least two planes he could probably send in to help with this sector. Maybe even three if he really wants to go at it. See, this, this is one of those situations where it's not always simple. It's not always simple. Okay. So, if I roll, let's say, I have a 50% chance, right? Let's say we get three hits. Uh, then he has four. You know what? We're not going to risk it. Let's not risk it, right? Let, let It says strong, right? But that's strong in killing... He can also send stuff to attack here, though. 
This is tough. This this is tough. Let's return to the combat. All right, I'm going to make a decision here, and this will be very crucial. Do I attack or do I let it be? Because I already killed the bomber. That's the big thing. He has five infantry. They will attack. They have very low org. He'll have four tanks, but I have a tank there and an AA to help boost. He'll probably take heavy losses. I'm gonna retreat. This may be a big, this may be a big thing, but I'll rather retreat. I'm still in the lead. I, it's still positive for me. It sucks I couldn't do more, but at least I keep my tanks, right? So I'll have to send this guy down here and move him over. AA has to go there. I have to put it there. All right, so we're gonna start moving all uh, up over here. We're literally just gonna start moving all of our troops across Russia to reinforce over here. Makes more sense and it can help out. It would really, really keep me uh, from a complete collapse. So, other than that, I think we're good. Other than that, so we're gonna end. Wait, making sure. Nope, didn't make any. I always, always worried about making a mistake. All right, let's prepare for a counterattack, right? Let's prepare for a counterattack. So we're gonna have uh, two in artillery, two infantry. Oh, you know what? He could attack there. Let's not sacrifice the artillery as much. Let's put one. And one infantry, just in case he goes in, so that way I don't lose more expensive stuff. And then we'll put those guys there. I'm not worried about up here. He can only take with the infantry. Alright, so he's purchasing. Let me defense profile. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what he built. Uh, double check to see. Purchase wise, he made himself a fighter. He, uh, artillery and planes. So it looks like he's going heavy on the air. Um, I'm still gonna go with the destroyer, and I'll, I'll explain why here in a second, but um, I'm gonna go with it. What should I go? Because he has five, six planes. Or does he? Because we could neutralize it, and uh, here's how we're going to do that. Um, first off, we need to deal with this threat. And, uh, well, let me actually, you want, I'm, instead of building a destroyer, I'm gonna build three of that there we go so we have wait do i still am i still building the aircraft carrier no i'm just building two planes and that i can build the uh the other stuff later but he has five planes even with two well i mean planes have four and if he does miss it would take out destroyers and then i would take out planes which technically is a win for me but eventually it, if he gets a good roll he could start knocking out planes pretty quick so again, he, it could very easily turn him uh, his favor. But um, even if that is the case, uh, I can give it a turn and support with a good U.S. fleet. So I'm not too worried. Uh, so let's do a smart move. Let's uh, save up some resources and try to turn things around. But again, not the best. Uh, you know what? Let's actually, instead of two planes, let's go a little ballsy. Let's get the destroyer and the aircraft carrier. May not be the best, but it's the situation I'm dealt with. Okay. I can't attack France, but I can kill that sub. And I'll use one plane here and one plane there. This is going to come down over here. We're going to send this there and this plane over here. Now, uh, I as much as I would like to attack over here, and I trust me, I really would like to, um, it's not preferable simply because of the fact that... Uh, I, I need I would rather send the men over here and attack over here so I, at least I know I outnumber him right I can beat the well yeah it's it's best if I outnumber him um so that way I can easily take North Africa or should I take that no because I need the cruiser over here and I don't want to do a 50 50 so we'll send those guys up there um in the meantime though let's Keep that guy here. The American destroyer hopefully will kill it because I can use a long range uh, bomber to hit that sub. And we're going to kill that up here. If Hopefully, a uh, destroyer being one defense doesn't kill me. That's dope. If I can take uh, the Guinea, uh, New Guinea, then that's also fantastic because, again, that's one extra CP away from Japan and one for me. Uh, so let's do that. Um. Debating right now about something. Bec 
because that's 4 CP. That's a big loss for Japan. And it would, but he, it would easily get the transport. Better to kill transport, guaranteed. All right, so let's, uh, yeah, let's let's looking good. Bunch of wins. I mean, most likely the sub is not going to be there. Oh, let me make sure that the defense profile for America. See, because I have C, right? So it's going to submerge. I don't want that. So let me go back. And let me switch this one to just that. Because it shouldn't do... Yeah, it doesn't do the submerge. But it does all the other stuff. So, yeah, that's fine. Because sometimes I don't want the sub to die. Sometimes I do want the sub to die. It just depends on the day. Uh, like the UK, I definitely want C after that. So, anyway, uh, yeah, that, that looks good. I'm happy with that combination. Hopefully some big wins. Looking for some wins here. Alright, first battle. That was not a win. Alright. Come on. Somebody hit that man! Okay, that was, the, that was a win. That was a win. Only, they took more losses than we did. And we easily outnumbered them. So if they push up, I could definitely do a lot of damage. Alright, New Guinea. Come on, New Guinea. Alright, but Marmot got him. He did get me, though. But I got New Guinea. That's one CP away from the uh, Japanese. Which does add up over time. It, it's one less unit I have to deal with. And it's, a, it's an air base I can use in the future. That's bad. Oh, boy. Woo! All right. Never mind. We're good there. That could have been really bad. It's like, we gonna hit him? All right. Air power. I definitely need this to hit. Please work. Oh, all beautiful hits. And that. Oh, this is even better. Look, I'm gonna lose the... I was, I was planning to lose this anyway, but if he advances, he has to fight the bomber, which could be a big issue for him with no air support. Yep, that's what I thought. He doesn't want a sub to engage, which is fine for me, because uh, that's not the main target. The main target is this fleet. I just wanted the sub in position. S Destroyers hit, and everything is dead. Okay, less troops coming over to China. Also, they can't naval, uh, use the naval bombardment, which is big. All right, so this bomber unfortunately has to go here. These two planes can move essentially anywhere. We'll send... Uh, to do at least one plane over here and then the other guy will have to move somewhere else I don't know where we're moving you <laughs> um, well luckily uh, we will move this guy up uh, we'll move this guy over for an attack next turn uh, this guy will move everything here and again he doesn't have any transport so we don't have to worry about attack on UK uh, I don't really have to worry. I mean, they have, they have no transport capabilities, so I'm just going to move one infantry here. That way, if he does, like, an air attack, trying to be sneaky or clever or whatever the fuck, I will... I'll be fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this is pretty good. I'm looking all over the map. I don't see anything else I'm missing. Again, from another an content creator that I've watched uh, on Axis and Allies, small details can really add up over time. So let's make sure we don't give him that small little opening. All right, there we go. Overall, I would say a solid UK. Could have been a lot worse. We did win every battle we were in. And he's going to be stuck either advancing and possibly losing stuff, um, etc. Now, uh, the question is, do I want to take out this plane, right? Because I can launch a bunch of transports and kill that plane, theoret theoretically. But that's a big big gamble but it would be a plane down and it would essentially uh it could be worth the attack itself because then i could easily mop up north africa that's a bunch of cp that i don't have to worry about um it would damage my transport capabilities it's really going to see what japan does if japan kills this fleet and really looks like he's just going to stomp me that could be bad However, I have a feeling because I actually did okay as the UK and actually did some damage, I think his most, a lot of his fleet and stuff is going to be preoccupied, like the bomber, I'm assuming he might attack here with, or, you know, he might try some other things, so I, we'll see. Alright, so we're back. I bought a aircraft carrier, destroyer, and a battleship for the Americans because the uh, Japanese 
destroyed my uh, Pacific Fleet in its entirety. Uh, go over in combat losses. Uh, yeah, so they won. They uh, they only lost a submarine. That is horrible. That's absolutely horrible. Um, and they took only one infantry loss over here. Uh, strategically speaking, uh, I can't exactly fight him, right? I, uh, yeah, it's, it, that's, that's a no-go. So I'm gonna pull back and fight to uh, another day with this. I'm gonna try to annihilate this fleet, right? So we're gonna send everything we have over here. Um, how are we looking? Unlikely. Probably need to send more. Which sucks. I have a destroyer I'll send over here to this sub. But I'll need to send the, the fighter over here. Because I want to make sure I annihilate that fleet. Because that is a big loss. And again, if I kill that. Actually, it might be in a decent uh, a, de a decent position against Japan. Because they'll have one of the aircraft carriers dead. How are we looking now? Strong. Okay. Um, we'll send this as much as I would. Let's see. Hold on. One... Uh, two, three. Yeah, he can't really send that up, right? One, two, three. He can't land it anywhere. So this is out of the fight anyway. So that's fine. Um, we'll prep ourselves for some sort of engagement and we'll send the fighter elsewhere. I'll prep for, you know, D-Day and all that stuff. Hopefully that survives. But, uh, if not, uh, this thing might be screwed. <laughs> so, um, yeah. We'll see how things fare, uh, in a moment. But otherwise, I'm not going to engage with that. And I think that's it. I, th I, th I think we're good right now. That's all we can say. Because this cruiser can't get there in time. Uh, nor can this fighter. So, yeah. Um, that's about it. Is there anything else? No, that's that's it. This might be a good target. But alas, I don't have three planes to send. But again, if I kill this fleet, not a bad idea. Alright, we'll see all this fares. Here's hoping, boys. Here's hoping. Alright, let's clear North Africa. Alright. Not looking good. Oh my god. Three losses in a row. Thank you. Win. Win right there. Alright, all the subs are dead. That's okay, so don't have to worry about the sub anymore. I can take a hit, and I can also use to take a battleship. Hopefully, we have a good run. Good. Good. Four hits. Perfect. I'm, I'm literally seeing the battle. Um, oh, my God. We did, I mean, the battleship can take a hit. No losses there. Complete, utter annihilation for them. And uh, the Pacific actually looking pretty good. Um... Okay, now comes the quandary, right? Because, yeah, Japan is fierce. But I could possibly cut him off. Or we better to go for Germany. Germany has a lot of fighters. He'll probably sacrifice it here. Uh, we'll do a, we'll do both, right? We'll prep ourselves for an attack there. Um, we're going to send the transports down here. So at least we're ready. Um, he can send that bomber. Sure, but it won't do anything. Um, let's see, aircraft one, two. Yeah, he's out of range. He can't fight. We'll send the two fighters over there for the aircraft carrier. This can land. Uh, this we're gonna move down to North Africa, uh, not Africa, India. Jesus, I can't, I can't talk. All right. Um, but yeah, we annihilated that fleet, and I again, I think it was wise of me. I could have attacked there, but I'd rather not lose the transports. I'm already down quite a bit. I need to send this guy somewhere, but where do I send this fighter? I guess we'll just send up here. We can just kind of hopscotch over. Um, not too worried about that. But overall, looking pretty good. There we go. I, I feel pretty good. I, f I feel pretty good about this. Um, yeah, I feel pretty good. Uh, should I? Uh, yes, that's it. So the question, okay, aircraft carrier obviously going here. Um, yeah, let's just make sure we have a Pacific fleet. Um, it might seem weird for me to put all this stuff here, but I just want to make sure I have enough to keep the Japanese entangled. 
and uh, possible like it, uh, that I could snipe some of his units. That's that's the big thing I want. I want I want the Japan to worry about the American fleet and not just you know feel free to just keep expanding. I will probably attack here because uh, I feel like Borneo could I could grab what's left of the Australian troops land here and then keep the American fleet close by. So that way, if they think about just sending it down, and they're out of, wait, one, two, yeah, they're out of range with transport. So I'd at least have it for at least one turn, um, which would really impact the Japanese economy. So that'd be good. All right, let's get a bunch of men. Uh, yeah, we're fine. We got men coming in. We got men for days. But we need more tanks. Or do we need tanks? Yeah, more tanks would be good. Alright, this is a priority. We're gonna send two guys here. I just realized that maybe it wasn't a priority. Uh, we'll send two guys here. Aircraft. Respectively here. Up here, we're gonna send a lot of guys. I want this area. I actually do. Um, quite a bit, honestly. Don't mind if I have to sacrifice some more men in order to get it. Because... Uh, wait, hold on. What's over here? Do I have the plane? Where's- a plane's going north. I'd have to send artillery here. Do I want to send artillery there? You could send nine tanks in. Probably not the smartest move. At least the south would be covered. Uh, let's send one artillery piece and one infantry. There we go. That should clear it. And then the top one's the most important, and then Ukraine is most important. Uh, let's send one more. I just want to be on the safe side. I know it's a lot of infantry to waste. Um, yeah, but that would give me a good shield. And honestly, uh, we'll be, pr with more troops coming in, we'll be fine. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Usually two or three guys we want to get rid of. I should have gone three. I should have gone two, but they, it could have really, it could have gone badly. But also, if he counterattacks, he's gonna have to use some of those planes. All right, good thing I put some extra men there. But again, now we can't use that facility, which is kind of important for me. There we go. All right, he'll he hopefully loses quite a bit of men in a counterattack. There we go. We'll keep sending men over. Now we'll move the, this guy back over here. All right, we're looking pretty good. Uh, that should be it. Yeah, that's it. All right, we definitely need more infantry next time, but I'm fine with that. There we go. We can cycle more men in. How's the implausible battle gonna go? He's already lost two planes, I've lost one. So far going great. I call that a win. I've killed four. He's only killed three. And honestly, uh, yep, there it goes. He lost all of his fighters, and I still have a fleet. So that's a big win for the UK right there. That's a big win for the UK. Because now I can just kind of put my destroyer there and start landing troops. And I'll have to move troops over there. He took that. I expected it. Did take any losses. I didn't, I didn't think he would. He, mu he must be going. He has to. Yeah, he, he's going for full tilt, which, okay, if anyone's wondering, like, Grayshaw, what are you talking about? Essentially, what he's doing is he's trying to launch everything in a hope to kill me, and it's not going to work. I'll put a destroyer there, we'll bring in the American forces, I'll pump out more troops, and we'll just send it. Um, yep, that'll have to do. I want a transport and a plane, because I'll use a destroyer to cover in case he attacks again. Unlikely, uh, with three fighters, but it's a possibility. Um, 
so let's we'll be cautious with that. Okay, and that was the Battle of the Atlantic, and uh, it did not go well for him. Do I want the Americans or the Brits to take that location? It's more important. I would rather have the Americans try to hold it. Uh, they can easily hold it, but I would rather have them trying to take it. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, they can't take that. In case they move the cruiser up. Um, anything else? Oh, yeah, all this. All this. He left my transport here. That's very odd. Because I can do this. Again, I have no idea why he allowed me to do that, but I can do that. I can do that. He's not stopping me. Um, I do want to make sure this is protected. I don't... He can't attack me here. Oh, wait. Let's... Can I kill that? One, two... Yeah, I can try to go for that. And then I have my attack. Again, th that would be a lot of resources I could get. Um... Is there anything else I can do? No? I can send all the infantry here. And then maybe, hell, if I kill that, that'll be amazing. Uh, I think that's about it. I think that's it. I'm look, I'm, again, I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything, but I don't think I am. I honestly think I'm pretty good in this scenario. Again, uh, crippling the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the Germans as fast as possible and boosting that economy up. That's my biggest concern. Although, again, uh, when I deploy my stuff and kill all this, it's, uh, gonna go against him. And then plus I get more men. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully. We need some wins. We need some wins to seal the deal. Alright, how the Netherlands gonna go? We gonna get the Benelux countries? As no concern. No concern. Alright. Here we go. Absolute devastation. Two losses, totally fine. There goes Rommel. Rommel's army has been decapitated. No reinforcements to bring it in. North Africa's essentially ours. Uh, one, two, wait. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I have to be very careful with attacking and pushing there. I could send like two infantry to slowly take it and send the rest back to North Africa. Let's see if I can get Borneo. Oh, Borneo under my control. I don't care. That's two tur That's at least two turns, right? I will be able to get four resources. So that's big. And if I can get this, I, it, Thailand would be a nice little win. Th this is a nice little win if I can grab it. Infantry getting the one. That's rare. I got it. All right. Thailand's under my control. Let's send the fighter back. Um, I wish I could send that fighter back, but I can't. We'll just send him here. I'll send the American fighter up. Uh, yeah, that's fine. This fighter will go here. This will go here. The kind of guard. The sub. Where should I send the sub? Uh, we'll put him out of range for right now. We'll move him up here. That way uh, he'll move the destroyer over and I can kill him. That, that works. Okay. That's fine. I don't think there's anything else. No. And again, transport's up here. He can't reach this. So I have that territory for a little bit of time. He can probably take this back. I expect him to. But everything else, it's going to be very annoying for him. Pump out some more infantry. And then... I could have saved that, but it's fine. I'll just pump out some infantry there. It's less for in the future. 40! 40 CP per turn. Uh, now we're 80. We easily outproduce the uh, Germans and also the Japanese. Germans still have 40s. 40s is pretty uh, concerning. But I could do that. Like, I theoretically could. This sub could sacrifice. Okay, so I have an idea. It would be dumb. But I feel like dumb might be a good move. 
Okay, so let's let, let me let me try a few things. So first off, yes, I want to buy more transports three and then have enough to supply. Uh, well, they attack here. Well, hold on, wait, wait, wait. That that doesn't make sense because if I pump out all these transports, he can't re he can't attack because there's only one guy coming up and then they will come back and these guys will come up. So all these transports are actually a bad move. Um, so out of these guys and they would come up. So I would need one and now I need one more and then two of these. That's what I would need. Right. Cause then, yeah, that, that, that's right. Okay. That's actually, yeah, that's actually right. That's how many, how many troops I would need. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Cause that would supply for the next attack. Which, let's get that done. Let's take France. And again, that's troops. He would have to move back. So as long as I hold this, I'm fine. Um, and again, I can reinforce here. My concern, though, is in pushing against Russia. But again, I could pump out a lot of troops. It's not too bad. <sighs> okay, so let's, let's get over here. My, my ballsy strategy. Go with me, chat. I know the submarine can't commit, right? So... And I'm not streaming this. I'm just saying YouTube. Uh, if. This is a big if. If I launch an air attack. Right? Because this is in range. And. Oh, this is in a range. Damn it. I thought it would be. And. Yeah, it's not the best. If my sub gets in there. It might get a kill. Like, it might actually go in and get some good shots on target. Again unlikely but it could uh which would be fascinating in my eyes absolutely fascinating but um let's see. one two three four five six one two three four okay so i could i could launch i could send everything here put the bomber here and get ready to attack him and just threaten him with a good time uh and my good time mean uh, bombing um Let's see. One, two, three, four. I could put, like, everything here. But then he would attack me with everything. <laughs> and, uh, I do have two battleships and plane uh, and planes. Um, it would at least cause him to freak out, I would assume. Probably should not have taken the troops. I could have pushed them up there. Uh... That's all I can really do right now, I think. It sucks. It sucks. Um, because I want to do something here, but the transport's on range. This is kind of doing, honestly, what I need it to do. I think the big thing would be to pull his fleet back, right? I can maybe go in for a sn uh, sneak attack here. Move everything to here? Would that work? One, two, three, four. That's four planes, and then whatever they got here. And then, could he move him with the bomber? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, he couldn't. One, two, three, four, five, six. The bomber. So essentially, be four planes against two battleships, two planes, and a bunch of destroyers, an aircraft carrier. It would threaten him. It could cause some havoc. Hold on. One, two. I'm looking at. I'm looking at taking uh, Iwo Jima. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, so, still. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. He's still out of range. So, Iwo Jima might actually be the better spot. Yeah, we'll take Iwo Jima. Going for Iwo Jima, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. Anyway, I take this, launch a sub attack, because that sub can't hit me, and then hit the cruiser, maybe the aircraft carrier, knock it out, cause him a little bit of mischief, uh, threaten him here. I think that's, that's my best shot. At least threaten him so he pulls it back, gives India enough time to reinforce a little bit more and then maybe they'll figure out what the hell to do with all the Japanese forces pushing in or um, if he pulls his stuff back or maybe goes for this maybe launch an assault here that would be a little bit risky but we'll see um, in the meantime let's uh, finish that up 
Wait. No. I can move it. I... Yeah, I can move the uh, other thing here. That way it's a little better. A little risky, chat. A little risky, but I, I don't uh, I don't mind taking a little bit of risk. France is easy win. That cripples majorly uh, Germany. They'll have to commit forces there now. Um, and Iwo Jima's been taken. No losses. Way better than actual Iwo Jima. All right. We're gonna move here, so that's one, and then, you know, whatever they end up doing. I have enough forces there, I'm totally fine. We'll move the infantry back, I don't, we'll move it here. Um, that way if they can help reinforce India, because that's my bigger concern, Russia should be fine. Um, since, especially since I'm putting so many troops in Germany and weaken them down. Um, again, I can get some good hits there. Move the cruiser in over here. One, two, three. He's not in range. Move the guy up there. AA up there. Fighter can go here. We'll, next turn, we'll move it over to West Russia. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Here, we'll move that up. And we'll move that over. I can, I should I should have counted that in. But uh, it's fine. One less infantry for the future. Yeah, that's good. Um, I'm good with that. There we go. We got the second wave coming up and even more men. So, and again, the British can kind of handle themselves for a turn uh, with the destroyer there. They have three aircraft. It's uh, not great odds. Let's just say that. It's, it's worse odds for them to engage. So, that works for me. That works for me. Um, yeah, let's end it. 44. Nice. And again, overall, they're dropping. I have more I have more people on the front. I need to pump out infantry. That's my big thing. I'm good on tanks. I actually need men. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right. Let's get some easy kills. Uh, this is an easy kill. Let's get that. Right? Um, I could try to kill this. Five tanks versus nine. He has three aircraft. Of nine infantry. So I'll have technically it could be bad for me. But he's ten. It's one of those weird things. I mean, like, yes, I have more troops. I have this guy coming in, I can send one guy here, so it's eight, ten. Uh, but I need at least like All right, how about this? If I'm not gonna commit here, and I can, I'll move these two, so that's what? Five artillery, yeah, I'll, I'll, that's good odds. I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm fine with only taking one and letting them have it, so that way, well, hold on. How good is this attack? Theoretically, how good is this attack, right? All right, so I did the calculation, and right now it is saying that I have, uh, the I am most likely gonna lose 42. So 42 is what? Um, four, five times eight, eight's three. And that is, I mean, that, I mean, that's all my infantry, essentially. That's 24. Um, I'm just saying that's the most probable. Uh, and then let's see right now. We have um, the artillery is being four of each. That's three, 12. So that puts 36 and then a tank. So I'd have four tanks there, okay. Okay, um, not great, but I could cr I could annihilate the Germans right now. Um, defenders would lose way more, and they have a 79% chance of doing so. They have no AA, so don't have to worry about that. I'm seeing a 78, well, 78, 79. I like those odds. I'm gonna go with a Soviet offensive. Um, and neutralize this because I feel like if I don't he's gonna send in the Air Force and just kill me right Worst case we can always pull back and I, I can pump out infantry there. I'm not worried about Russia. I'm not worried about here 
he can't take it um so yeah let's uh let's that's anti the, yeah we can't commit anything else everything is being committed for this offensive uh yeah so um let's go oh a small battle first okay that small battle All right, one each. No, not what I want. Not a good battle, not a good battle. All right, took some more losses there. Still fine, uh, I mean push here would be bad, but I can always, he can't push here. Kill off his infantry, that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Alright, so let's see. That's nine tanks and seven plus that. Alright, let's go. Five. Alright. Already worse odds. Right, let's just go. Kill it. Yes! Alright. So we killed their force. Uh, works for me. Great shot. Someone's gonna be like, Great shot, you lost horribly. I'm like, Well, here's the thing. You're not wrong. Uh, but I uh, succeeded, I think. And someone's like, No, Great shot, you did not succeed. That, that was not success. All right. Now I'll be like, well, success is measured in many different ways. That one definitely not, and I didn't get the seat. I didn't get the territory, which really sucks because he could take. Or can he? Oh wait. No, I'm I'm okay. Oh, Axis actually lost a bit. I mean, it was more expensive for him, obviously, but he got crippled hard. I mean, overall, I can at least pump out infantry and defend this area, and I can easily take that. As long as I have the caucus, I'm fine. And I don't think the Japanese want to send six infantry straight at me while I have air support and artillery. Okay, so he did his move. He bought fighter and infantry. He did take both of them back, some casualties. He moved up some infantry over there, and he's essentially making it very difficult for me to push up here. But... Um, I can still do something, right? I can still threaten him with a good time. Uh, so, it's a little difficult because I'm kind of wedged in here and I need to make sure that this area is secure. So, the best thing I can do right now is make it so that way I'm at least a bit of a threat. Uh, there we go. I need to send some stuff down here. So I'll, uh, should I build? No, cruiser should be fine. I can bring in the cruiser here from the Americans. Four planes, they're still not going to threaten it. I could kill all this infantry. Still, even if I kill the infantry, it's, well, it's still a win. It's, it's artillery and that, so, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and I'll grab all this territory away from him. Um, yeah, that works. That will work. And besides, whole plane will be stuck down here, so I can easily kill it. Uh, that'd be a nice easy kill. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with this. Uh, do, what am I gonna do now? Is there anything else I need? No, that's pretty much it. I, I want to say, because essentially I'm getting three and three. Three infantry will go here, right? And, oh, sorry. Yeah, three infantry here. And then two artillery pieces will go here. Oh, another artillery. Wait, I'm missing. Oh, and the pl no, two infantry and a pl they, Yeah, okay. So, we can't push up because he built another fighter, but it's fine. The Russia battle could have gone better for me. If I took that, that would have been a nice little win. Um, but whatever, I can kill, I can do a nice little, hopefully, 
I kill it in over here, and then uh, you probably reinforce here, but I can at least get eight divisions situated in that location and then cause them some havoc. Uh, I need to send more troops over here. So we're gonna send one, one, or say, nah. Um, I kinda need to take this in a hurry. You can attack me with one and, and risk losing it. I'm going to uh, send the transport. I'll send these guys over here along with all the fighters and stuff. Good thing I wasn't there. Because uh, I'm afraid he's going to attack me. I don't think he will. Uh, no, he won't. I can send the American infantry here. I can. Mm. It's one of those things like, do I want to though? Am I going to hold here though? I'm going to attack this for sure. Move this here. We'll see. We'll see. We'll we'll see what I end up doing. Um, for right now, let's kill that. Oh right, the sub. Let's kill this. Uh, if I kill one thing, that's great. Um, I can't really hit it with anything else, so it's fine. The sub kit, at least killing one thing would be amazing. Uh, all right, so let's do that. I'm gonna send one infantry over just in case. The other two can go other the other way. And. Yeah, I think that's going to be it I th for this turn. Again, obviously it's going to be less for the UK for me to... Not a great round. Well, 50% death, so... But still, I would rather want more. Okay, I took the territory. That's good. Some losses on Germany is always a win. Let's see if I get any kills. Got a surprise strike. There we go. Invalid hits. Can't hit the airplanes can't hit me because there's no destroyer. Oh my god, the planes keep straight from me, but it's not not effective. This guy can't roll- oh my god. Please. Please. Come on. Oh my god. This is the mo this is the ballsiest submarine I've ever had in my life. No! He goes down! He go finally goes down. That'll be amazing. If I kill the aircraft carrier, that's amazing. I killed the cruiser. I'm fine with that. That's still a huge win. Uh, we'll send the fighter up here. I feel like with that and the additional fighter, um, yeah, he's gonna be very worried about this. Yeah, he's pro- look, I, I don't exactly have the largest fleet, but even if he sends two fighters up here, he would take way too many casualties. The battleships could take the hits, the destroyers could take the hits, he would sacrifice aircraft that he could use for India, which again, and again, there's Borneo. Like, he probably wants those resources because he's not getting a whole lot, um, on the grand scheme of things. Uh, probably once more. I need to get more resources here. Probably next turn I will buy like another destroy or aircraft carrier and a plane. Um, that's what 24, and then the rest infantry and defenses for India. That's probably what I want to go. But uh, we'll see what he does. Okay, so uh, I may have accidentally o overdid it. Anyway. I got artillery and a transport, and I'll link it up with that infantry to launch a small attack, at least while the main force is recuperating after their next attack. Um, I have an aircraft carrier and also uh, two planes that I'll deploy here. I also, uh, he reinforced here, launched an attack in, in Borneo in Australia, and looks like he withdrew forces there and I guess pulled them elsewhere. However, he messed up. Um, I was able to send a fighter in and kill him. And hopefully I can just pull everything back and sacrifice the fighter. That's fine. I'll rather sacrifice the fighter and kill the transports because that means those guys are stuck and India is safe for the time being. So I can launch a counterattack over here. Meanwhile, attack up here. So let's see how that goes. Um, sorry, I meant to not immediately cut you guys off there, but or not. not I meant to record it, but unfortunately, there uh, I forgot to hit the button. So let's see if this works. Come on. Bullshit. Let's. Let's 
make sure this area is secure. I know India is secure now because I killed the transports and he doesn't have nearly as much infantry as he wishes to fight me. Um, so, yeah, that guy's going to die. Uh, that's fine, though. We'll move all these guys here. Move them up there. Move this guy over. Move the anti-aircraft over. Move this here. I can't move that anywhere. We're going to guard the tank. And move this back. Um... I guess we can move it down to Y. It doesn't really matter. He can't hit me. He could launch fighter attacks here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's not risk it. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Looking good. Up. Oh, sorry. I, I, I can't. I, 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 you need to land your fighter. Well, I can't do that, good sir. I, I can't land it. Sorry. Nowhere to land it. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, one of those things. I can't do it. What? Can I move my aircraft carrier? Oh, fuck. I, I guess I would. That's fine. I'm fine with this. I killed his transports. That's gonna kill it. Even... Oh, that sucks. Alright, whatever. Sacrifice the aircraft carrier. Save the dream. Alright, move everything here. He's like, why, Grayshaw? Would you risk doing... Again, it makes perfect sense in my head. I'll buy another aircraft carrier next game, but the goal is very simple. Delay him as much as possible. And he, now he's going to take two turns in order to get those men off that island. So... It's where, I mean, more... Yeah, I'll take three turns for him to get off that island, so I have full reign over here. He's, he fucked up. He fucked up majorly. <laughs> um, okay. So there we go. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Even if he launches an air attack, I have more than enough defense to hold him back, so works for me. All right, let's start uh, on time this time. So let's get a bunch of infantry, because that's what I need. Uh, and let's get some kills. Now, I will launch an offensive, a number of them, uh, but a lot of them will be on defense. Now, he could attack here with his fighters. Bit of a risk. Um, I don't think he will, but let's get some good kills in the meantime. Um, so, let's get some easy stuff first. Uh, let's do that. I'm just going to send one infantry to attack this. The rest can attack here, uh, and the rest can attack here. I don't have all that I want, right? But if I get those big stacks, then that's the biggest threat right now to Russia. And I want to make sure those are covered. Um, so let's double check. That one should be an easy kill. Favorable. This one, it's a little different. Also favorable. Okay. If I get those kills, it's essentially open territory all of China. So that's perfect. And I can get all those resources back. Um, down here, do I, do I want to attack? I can pump out, yeah, let's do a double. Let's let's just do two, that's fine. Because six, I can deploy four infantry here, three here. Um, yeah, that's fine, I'm, I'm fine with that. Because uh, he can't attack me, and worst case, I can send a fighter up here after he does his thing. So, do I wanna do that? Yeah, he, he's going to have a bunch of ones. That's probably not going to go well for him. Come on, let's get some good stuff. Could be better. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was a bad hit. Come on. All right, I need to retreat. I don't want to lose the artillery. I can't lose the artillery. I did lose a bit more than him. That sucks. But if I kill the tank, that'll be a nice win. Even if I kill the tank, that's still a win. I, I still wish I grabbed the territory. That's the problem right now. It's the fact that, uh, unfortunately, I just don't have the resources to really expand as fast as I want to. And they could exploit me for that. But I got that, so that's the biggest threat to Russia down. 
Um, and then I can send whatever I have left, like the anti-aircraft batteries, uh, this, uh, the, oh yeah, definitely the fighters I'll send it. Oh yeah, two fighters. I easily can hold that. Um, and they don't have enough firepower to really stop me at all. Yeah. Uh, let me make sure my defense profile is AA active. There we go. Because... Oh. No? Wow, I'm an idiot. Okay. Wait. AA. What is happening? <laughs> oh, he can see mine. Oh, okay. No, this is just for this game. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. That, that works. Not in a situation in the teens as rush is not great, but I think I can get a little bit more. I was actually expecting a little more from him, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be completely honest, I was expecting a lot more from him. Oh well. Uh, time to win. <laughs> or, not win, but at least help in a major, major way. Um, so, first off, uh, let's buy two fighters. One, two, three, one, two, three. Problem is, nothing down here, so it has to be one fighter and three infantry. Well, that's how the story goes. So, uh, yeah, because we can just launch everything there, but I still want to produce stuff. Uh, we're going to kill that, and we're going to take... Maybe that... Should I kill that? I feel like I should kill that stuff right there, because I can. I feel like I can do that. I don't, I don't care for that. I can wait a turn for that. That's not a big deal. Um, five fighters. That could be a problem. But I think it's better to just get that back under my control. Under Russian control. Because he can't immediately take that. So, yeah. Let's, 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 like, again, he's still getting 41. I need to cut that quite a bit. The Americans can land up here, right? They can send, like, two transports of guys and land and I can still prep an attack force here so he still has to worry about that location um, the rest of it I can land here and elsewhere that work I like that actually I really really like that idea okay so that's what we'll do um, yeah yeah I, I actually I really like those odds actually oh yeah, okay, so first off, um, there's no transports. Like, he can bring in, with two infantry there. That's six. It's still bad. I don't want to necessarily push with a lot, but at least I can take this. Right? I, I can push here. Um, but what I can do is send troops up here, I think. Yeah, that might be better to help Russia out with forces. Next up, we're going to pump this guy full of men. And we're going to go in. The tank and the other one will attack here while this goes here. All air support will focus its efforts there and kill that infantry. And then I can just land it back here just fine. Um, should I risk this? Yeah, I better risk it this turn. Just get rid of that. Uh, like I said, I don't want to... You can only move one. I, sh I don't have anything to hit that transport. That's the only thing. You can move the transport over. That's the thing that sucks. One, two, three, four. No, I can move it here. If he gets close, I can hit it with a, a bomber. Um, yeah, I, I think that's pretty good, honestly. I, I like, because again, I can get the territory, get Russia back some CP. That will work. And he get hit with fighters, but again, it won't necessarily work out all that well for him. Plus, I can still get resources for myself as well. One loss. I'll take those odds. Plus, I'll have to start moving troops north, and that will divert attention from reinforcing that section, which will help me out 
a little bit. What else? There we go. Double hit. Alright, got a little piece of territory back. Get what I can get. Rush has the territory back. Let me get this, please. Yes. Don't care. Got it. I got it. We got it all. Morocco's mine. Move the one fighter back there. Both the fighters here. And the air anti aircraft carrier there. Move the infantry slowly across. Now I'm going to move like five infantry. One, two. One, two, three. Yeah, he's not, he's not in range. I, again, I see more. I, I see more of a concern up here than I do over here. Like I, I can just send everything back, worst case. But that way, at least Rush is in a pretty damn good state. And even if he moves 18 infantry across, I'm still in a decent spot. Um, and I can rush a tank over and grab all that for myself and just keep hammering him, which I'm sure he'll be very happy about. Um, yeah, I can, and I can send two transports here and then prep everything else for an attack shortly. Didn't I have another men? Or am I dumb? No, no, no. I'm, I'm on my point. I'm on point. Uh, is there anything else I'm missing? No, he, he has no transports. I'll have to buy that. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm trying to think of, is, if there's anything I'm missing. I don't think so. Put the fighter here. Thirty-six or thirty-seven. Not the best, but I did liberate Leningrad, so that's le he can't deploy troops there. I can easily kill that, and then just quickly grab a bunch of territory. Uh, elsewhere, and the Japanese can't necessarily stop me. I mean, he could. He very easily could just take this, and then I have to waste troops fighting. But um, with my fighting fighter support there, he can't necessarily move up. So I need the aircraft carrier, uh, an, an airplane, and we'll go two subs because the subs are working pretty good last time, and that way I can keep some bit of. Uh, I should send the bomber elsewhere. That's not really helping. All right, move that here? Really? Oh my god, he's left this. I mean, like, to be fair, he'll move the transports down, but still. I mean, he. Psh, the entire army's gone. India's pretty much open. Hello. Hello there, sir. Um. Excuse me. One, two? He's hoping to land here. I, for, I, I don't have any long range stuff. Damn it. So I can't stop him. That's gonna suck. That's really gonna suck. Oh, well, I, I can move that there. Move the tank down. Kill whatever it's there. It's still gonna suck he's gonna get those resources, but I should have sent bomb. I should have made a bomber here instead. Um, that's my bad. Okay. Let's focus on curtailing that, because that's a bit annoying. To have to deal with that bomb. I should have moved the American bomber over. That's what I should have done. Because one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I couldn't. Never mind. Um, yeah, he's going to go for there. I can't stop him. Can't stop him. But even though, as the case, uh, 40s, uh, right now 38, 38, 18. I'm actually not doing as great as I thought. Mm. He could catch up. He could catch up. But if I keep curtailing him, maybe not. Uh, Alright, so I, again, I bought this because I want to curtail his fleet, and a sub attack would. Uh, could do that, theoretically. I should get a lot of subs. Should have got a lot of subs. It's fine. Um, let's deploy two and two. Oh, I, I I hate when it does this. Two and two.
There we go. Don't need to do anything up there, but I can get those resources. Um, not much I can really do elsewhere. He has too many fighters. I can't stop him there. I can expand this way, at least a little bit. And here... Um, what can I do? I go up here, kill that. Uh, yeah, we can just go up here. Just, why not? Um, for this, can't really send the fighter after anyone. This one I can get in range. So that way if he does one, two, three, four. Yeah, I can at least do that. So that's fine. I, I can kill the transport and just keep him contained down there. So that's not too bad. All right, um... Yeah, that's it as the Americans this turn. I... Oh, you know what? I, one, two, one, two, one. I can send American forces there. I, I mean, this trans... I mean, I can also send the transports down here, but he could attack me. That's a problem. Or would he? No, he could. He could send all the fighters and kill that thing. Let's not do that. He could raid me. Absolutely, he could raid me. Um, so we are going to do all of that. There we go. That's less... That's less resources for a certain German player. Let's move that there. The fighter... Uh, this fighter I can move down. I don't want to move too close. But I'll move it close enough to where... I mean, it doesn't... It doesn't matter. I'll move it here. That way if it comes up. But I can kill it. And uh, deal with it next turn. And then just send forces. He might take some territory, but I'll get it back. Um, yeah, the problem is... I mean, to be fair, at least Germany will go down. That's that's my hope. That's my dream. Let's see if it achieves. Again, one, two, three, four. He can't get back, so I can easily make sure that's safe. Um, yeah, we'll make sure that's secure. India's fine for right now. I need, I need to move this. I need, uh, this, this transport's not helping me out much. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it. One, two, three. I mean, like, I guess it's still good to have just to cause it, just to find, if there's an opening, maybe. But the only opening I could think of would be down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like, something like that. But... I'll just keep them all Hawaii. I know I could be doing it better, using it better, but I'm just kind of stuck with it now. All right. Oh, right. This transport. What can I? I'll, I'll keep him there, but I'll, I'll just lay in the troops just in case and move the fighter there. In case you're wondering why I didn't buy more troops, since I didn't really use them in battle, I can just store them up here and then just move them down next turn. That's why. So, in case someone's wondering why, I I didn't lose any men. I'll just use them in the attack next turn. And they took territory, so Germany is down. So, that is why. Alright, 43. We have 43, so at 80, 86. Okay, we're still ahead, and we're pulling ahead slowly but surely. Um, this, again, just more infantry. I do think I should, No, just infantry. I need infantry right now. Okay, so let's just get this dealt with. Um, two planes. Uh, one here. One there. One infantry there. Um, we're going to deal with one infantry there. With artillery support. Uh... Uh, um, we'll, we'll send one infantry there. Um, and then the other two we'll send here. There we go. And I can pump out four guys, still better odds. Still have enough fighter support. I easily outnumber in fight. I still hold the, um, the air and with fighters. And, uh, it gets a huge swath of territory back. Looks good. Looks good. And I'll have to send some forces up here, and then I can land troops, and he'll have to move forces back, so at least it keeps him somewhat contained. Somewhat. Not incredible. I 
I'm unsure if that attack in Leningrad was worth it. It seems to be have at least annoyed him, but... Well, good thing I sent an extra guy there, my god. Alright. But now the north is open, so I can just move up forces and grab it. So that seems to be pretty good. Again, I can just move forces over and use the tank to grab that real quick. And he can't really do much to stop me. Heck, I can't even use the fighter to grab it with British troops. Um, and then move this way, move down. Like, he's overextended himself. His uh, big R. I love the fact that these troops are still there. and They've been stuck there forever. That's really helped me out. All right, I am, what, 35 ahead of him right now? And I haven't deployed men, so. I'll take those odds. Yeah, that's fine. Four men there, two men here. And then next turn we can start, like, looking into buying tanks. Because we're in the 20s now. I'm in a little better position. Not great, but I would say it's better. Because at least now we're over 100 and they're in the mid-80s. Mid-80s for the Axe is not good by any stretch. But at least we're ahead by at least 20 points. So that's what I kind of want to be. And then overall, we're ahead now by 40 points. Typically, it starts turning one way when it hits like 60, especially if you have advantage, but in terms of resources and attack power, I still think the weaker link is Germany because all of his stuff is in infantry. Infantry is annoying to deal with, but with fighter support, you can wear it down in artillery. I just need to buy that stuff. So probably an arty, a tank, and that, and I could probably keep holding him just fine. Even with nine extra infantry, he has no artillery support. His best things would be planes and I could shoot them out of the sky. So it's very risky for him to do anything like that. Okay, I don't understand the German player. Maybe, maybe it's me. I know he pumped about a bunch of men there, but he also put a bunch of men here. So I can just sacrifice my men, kill that. And that's his artillery. So that puts him in advantage. I, he's kind of just weakening this. Um, yeah. He did kill the units there, don't get me wrong, but I'm about to kill a lot of him. Hopefully. Hopefully I kill a lot of his forces. Uh, we shall see. We shall see. So, uh, the biggest thing is for me to murder. And that's exact, exactly what I can do. Oh my god, I, I just realized I don't even have to sacrifice Russian troops. Or do I want to sacrifice Russian troops? No, I, I can fight him and possibly take less casualties. Okay, I have a plan. Just get the... You guys might think I'm crazy, but I have a plan. All right, so here's the plan. Aircraft carrier, check. Uh, three, three. That's the thing. If I buy an aircraft carrier... Okay, so, bit of a pickle. Um, huh. Okay, so, with... Hmm. He has six fighters now. He bought more infantry. He's trying to push as much as possible here. <sighs> Let's think about this for a second. Um, I can expand there. That's fine. I can attack here with a bunch of Russian infantry. But I don't really have that much attack power yet. Um, I need to do something because Germany's in mid-30s. I need to punish him a little bit. And I think I know how I'm going to do that. So, the nice thing about the, uh, oh, I, the problem is one, two, three. Okay, so I can get back here so I can help the Americans in their D-Day, um, and provide fleet support. I need aircraft carrier and I need three infantry and three of these. Puts India a disadvantage, a major disadvantage. But I do have a fighter there. I don't have to worry for a few turns, so I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk India for right now. Because I need to make sure that I have I, I have at least some equivalent equivalency with his uh, with his fighters. I He just keeps buying them, and I want to make sure I can leverage that. So... 
we'll we'll do that. I I can't build anymore. I need stuff. That's fine. But the thing is, right, is I can launch an attack. Uh, so I can launch fighters to attack this or this. So it's probably better to kill the let the Russians fight this because two, three, they they can they can deal with that. They can send a couple men and deal with that. But if I can deal with the northern stuff, I can protect him from this push. At least temporarily. Um, not amazingly well, but I could do that. So, that is what I will do. At least for right now. We'll, uh, we'll give it my best shot. And we'll see how that goes. So, there's two here. I'd rather go for the bigger one. So, let's send all the stuff here along with two fighters, right? Deal with that. Then we'll send all this stuff here. We use the fighter, I don't know, but against this guy since there's going to be less troops there. There we go. Uh, we'll send one infantry here. Send all that stuff back. And then, as m I, I was thinking about using the fighters here for something, but I can't. I was uh, talking here, but I'm like, no, it's probably not worth the risk of, uh, let me let the Russians handle them. And again, the Japanese are nowhere close to attacking India, so I can kind of keep them there for now as a deterrent. And yeah, we can let that go. Um, I like the, uh, and I'll get a ton of resources, get another fighter, stock up India with even better stuff so I can kind of make up for the previous turn. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. If I do this, Germany's gonna feel it. And hopefully they goddamn feel it. All right, so let's do this thing. And I put the most infantry here because again, if, they, if I hold this, even with 16 guys and that, if I bring it over AA, shoot down some of those planes, that's a huge win. Um, especially with no with very uh, with less artillery support. That's 10, 14. I mean, uh, it's possibly 14 uh, 14 infantry right there guarding against 16, 22. I know it's not the best, but at the very least, it would cause a lot of havoc. Um, yeah, that works. We're killing a lot of Germans with this assault. So, I am for this. And again, the British get a lot of resources, which is perfect. Because that keeps the Germans tied down left instead of saying more infantry elsewhere. No losses. Oh yeah, Netherlands. They would have to divert forces to the Netherlands as well, which is less men that they would have on France. And again, if they give me the, if they allow me to get in a position where I could easily strike. Oh come on, there we go. Oh no losses. Okay, that works. All right. This one's kind of the iffy one. They're all dead. That's a win. No losses. Okay, that's a big win for me, because again, he would have to divert forces even more. Artillery being removed. That's a nice little win. Did lose that, so I didn't get the territory. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna leave two infantry here. Well, well, we'll send three up here. That way I can protect this in case they attack. Um, the rest of it will go down here. This will come down. That will go over. That way I can deal with that stuff down south. This fighter goes here. The remaining fighters go over here. Aircraft carrier goes over there. And again, well, four fighters versus, or three fighters, two aircraft carriers, and then the remaining fleet support. That should be plenty of firepower. And then the Americans can land here, take France, reinforce it. Um, and well, at least he'll be so spread out that he'll probably give out uh, while trying to reclaim stuff and then Russia can close in here, hopefully. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. And even if he does take this, I can just send everything up here, kill this, um, and then America can reinforce. Okay, so yeah, I think that's it for right now. Again, we'll get a lot of resources for grabbing all this stuff, but uh, except for, um, it would be nice for one more point, but I'm not sweating it. Um, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, aircraft carrier goes here, 
and then all the attack power goes here. So that way I can still strike him anywhere. Perfect! And tons of positions. I can reinforce Indy even more. 11, 12, and again, bring in more. Here, if he attacks, he, he does have no fighter support. I have fighter support, so he'll probably lose or I kill him. And then just chill out over here and then go back here with my fighters. I, I, I expect the... Yeah, I, I expect me to be able to take a lot of territory very quickly because he doesn't really have much attack power on the ground. Again, a lot of the stuff got separated. Hopefully, I'll kill that thing down there. Uh, overall, I'm still oh, 40 points ahead now, so at least I'm gaining more, so that's good. All right, so we're back, and uh, not great. Uh, yeah, he did land down here, um, and he did move transports, but all this stuff is still over here. We can do that. We can use this. Um, this is actually quite funny. So first off, we need a bunch of guys. Uh, five? Yeah, I think five. All right, and then we'll build a sub. We'll send a sub over there to deal with that. Not too worried. Five, five, yep. Now, unfortunately, these guys will have to land, but I'm, again, totally fine with that. Uh, we can send a Russian troop here. This little guy can go here, and we can go. We can kill this, right? We can move him, kill that. Send, uh, same thing, we can send one infantry here and the rest can go down. This, I'm gonna kill that. I can move the tank down and I can get a bomber next time over there and then send the aircraft down. Um, after Germany uh, hopefully doesn't attack this location. If they do, well, have fun with that. Uh, I don't think they will because of reasons. Um, I can move the subs in and we can maybe kill some carriers again, which by God would be hilarious if I could kill a carrier. I, sh I should have moved the subs in last turn um, and kept them submerged and waiting. I was a dumbass. That's my bad. So, yeah. Um, hopefully we'll get some kills. Uh, beyond that, there's not much we can do as the Americans this turn. So, I'm just gonna kind of end. Missed. Got the kill. Got the hit. No kill. All right. Now, he did deploy an industry so he could deploy more troops to the region. But it's funny because, well, it's still going to take some time for him to deploy. It is better than the transport situation he had himself in. I'll give him that. But I will move my... Tr I, I will move a sub in uh, for a little bit of uh, fun. A little bit. Uh... I'll move that here, and then we'll send everything down south. So maybe I can reinforce next turn. Again, this bomber... <sighs> I, I should probably send over here. Alright, let's... Let, let's get the special stuff in. Oh, I forgot. Uh, oh god, that sounded weird. You guys all down here. Uh, you sent one of them. There we go. Oh, I could have saved some money and bought another destroyer. Dang it. Oh well, it's fine. Or not destroyer, but a transport. Not sub. Jesus, I can't talk. All right, this is dead. Um, we'll move him up here. We'll move the infantry over to kind of protect him. Again, this is a problem. It's annoying, but I can deal with it. Uh, hopefully. And yeah, that's reinforced. That's easily 14 men. That's gonna be tough for him, especially with everything around him. Germany's gonna deplete himself, hopefully. Uh, we'll see. All right, the rest is down here. One, two, three, four. He could launch a fighter attack. He can't send anything else. That's eight fighters. Four. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, I'm fine. It would be a it would be a very costly battle for him. Um, one I don't think he wants. Uh, but anyway, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, that's that is uh that's it for the Americans. I'm making sure I'm not missing anything because I don't want to miss anything, but I don't think I am. 
No, I am not. Okay. Again, I just realized I didn't need to buy all this, but hey, that's for next time. Again, 42. Japan's at 43. Not great, but uh, we're almost 50 points ahead, and with this, we will be. Now, I did say I would buy artillery and a tank, so we have a little bit more leeway, so we're going to do that. Again, move that there. Um, we'll attack this with everything we got. Um, I can move that back. This I'm going to put here and put two infantry. That way if he does attack it, it is a disadvantage and he could still lose it. It's not like he has armor. Um, so we're going to send three infantry and two planes. I can easily put the artillery, tank, and two infantry there. And that leaves two infantry, which we'll put here. So that's fine. Uh, th yeah, that's fine. Um, anything else I'm forgetting? Not really. No, that's it. Okay. Wait, one, two. Could he launch? Oh, shit. He could launch an assault. Huh. I didn't think about that. I, ju I just realized the Japanese player could launch an assault in here and take it. That could be bad. I don't think he will. But if he wants to be a dick and take a bunch of territory very quickly, he very easily could do that. Um... Okay. I might launch like a huge assault against it. And then just kind of let him be. <laughs> it's the best way to describe it. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that'll work. Um, so we'll end there. Two, two losses expected. That's their deathbed. There we go, three, three infantry there. So a little bit harder to take. Allied win. Allied win! Oh. All right, you board. Ah, oh, yes. The simp simply killing the infantry, he, he must have realized like, yep, next turn. Uh, he, he's just be, he is just, there's too many areas, right? There's just too much going on. Um, yeah. And the subs are here too. So if he moves the air, if he, he, theoretically, if the battleships move up, the subs could kill the aircraft carriers or at least attack them. Um, technically. Uh, but yeah, that's game. Hot damn. That lasted forever. All right. But I won. I won the game. I, I surround Germany, we got a nice win, and uh, we successfully held. I'm actually, uh, again, that Leningrad battle actually went worse for me, but overall, still not bad. Still not bad. I guess he was really trying to hold this area out and hoping that, you know, I couldn't reinforce here, but again, just odds. You put one more infantry, typically you'll win, uh, especially, especially with fighter support. So, whatever the case may be, we won it. Allied victory once again, yes. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, suck it. And it's funny, because this big Japanese Navy did jack all. My sub almost killed an aircraft carrier. That's probably my highlight of this whole thing. The sub almost killed an aircraft carrier. But hey, what was your favorite part? Leave it down below. It's been Gray Show 17. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, before you go, I want to give a special shout out to Patreon supporters, Folkford, Afria, Joey G240, Ace, Shinobi Warrior, Pirate Shark, Little Koosh, and Seth Coopers. Thank you all for your incredible support. You guys rock. This has been Grayshaw17 and his amazing patrons, and I'll see all of you next time.